All right, so I'm gonna do this circular one right here. Um, the circular one is actually going to be cut out the lid and I'm gonna cut it out on something called a beveled edge. Uh, I'm not gonna do that till tomorrow because you're gonna want it to set up. You want it to be like kind of in, not a leather hard stage, but slightly drier than like super, super fresh workable clay. So this I just wanna build completely into like a, a dome form. Remember, you're gonna be like smoothing the inside first and then kind of slowly pinching in. to get that nice direction. And then I'm just smoothing a little bit at a time. Now, if you are doing something like a sphere, it's gonna be a really gradual progression. Uh, yesterday, it was really getting just a little bit too soft on me, so I let it set up and it's a little bit better today. So if you find that your um, chocolate clay is kind of flip flopping on you, make sure to go ahead and do that and these are the three that i'm demoing but as i see your guys sketches there might be some other things i'll jump in and demo as well uh so far what i have it's kind of what i have And because the clay is so soft, you're definitely going to have some fingerprints in it. So you are going to go in and want to smooth up with your rib tool a little bit once it gets a little bit drier. So before I add anything else on, I really want to pinch this in. That's what's going to help me get that round form. I'm also going to probably go in and kind of like paddle this up a little bit. Um, we have paddle tools in class, but I think I'm just gonna use my hands because you guys are at home and uh, don't have access. So we'll use the next best thing. So I'm gonna kind of start to really, really pinch this in. It's also gonna shrink down a little bit too. And the reason I'm not just throwing a pinch pot on top of this is because then you would have a really weird, strange inside. The last very little bit is going to be a pinch pot, but the very, very just last little bit. Remember to work with small coils. This table here is not ideal for coil rolling, but that's okay. And I'm going to use this and then I'm going to really like pinch it in so this one's going really really inward and i'm actually going to pinch it and attach it to the clay And I'm, ex I'm excited to see some of the things you guys sketched out. So I'm closing in. Make sure you smooth in the best you possibly can inside. and then we'll smooth the outside. And you don't want this to go out. You wanna kinda of still keep pinching it in so that that's gonna close all the way. And when we cut it out, we should have a pretty seamless lid. 
And if you see any coiling that you want to adjust inside, you could smooth that a little bit too, um, depending on you know how much you have. But I think I'm going to put this one on a little stand. I'm just kind of feeling it. It's all like the little things that you do with the teapot that give it character. So you can see, even though I did two coils, I'm still not like all the way in yet. And this is so much better than the clay I was working with at the base yesterday. And if your base starts flopping on you, the whole thing's just going to kind of go awry. Something kind of like that. I'm going to do one more coil and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to do the tiniest, teeniest little pinch pot. And if you guys have questions on anything or want me to go over anything specific right now, please, please type in the chat. Let me know. Because I definitely like want to teach to what you guys want to see. This one is going to go like really, really inward. And I kind of have almost like an apple form and that's because my bottom slouched down a little bit yesterday, but that's okay. I'm just trying to really like push it out to keep my shape. go in take your time smooth this up I'm just gonna smooth it real quick but I'm smoothing the inside I'm just gonna even it out When you do go ahead and cut your lid off of any form like this, you will then have room to smooth out underneath. You just don't want it to be too messy. Before I close it, I'm just going to kind of shape it up a little bit. And then I'm going to smooth. And after I smooth it, I'm going to really like kind of tap it inward. So this is going to be the one too with the over the top handle. And you guys have plenty of time. Today's only Thursday. I mean, Wednesday, I'm sorry. Yeah. All right. So after my very last coil, kind of like where I can, um, really can no longer fit my hand inside the vessel. I'm going to make a little teeny pinch pot. I'm going to really kind of pinch this in first. Make sure the opening is as small as it could be. I'm 
you could still tell this is kind of flimsy down here. So I might go in and even that out a little bit too. I don't want to use a lot of clay. I'm just going to take a ball of clay. I'm going to flatten it. I'm going to see how it fits. Oh, actually, that's pretty good. And then I'm just going to smooth it into place. And you want it to look seamless, like there's nothing there. Now, the reason I didn't want to just take two pinch pots and stick them together is it's going to look pretty funky inside and you want it to be really nice and smooth. So this is as far as I'm going to go today on this one. Tomorrow, it, I'm just going to do a quick, quick, quick demo on cutting out the top. I'm gonna put a little spout on it and then I'm gonna put a handle on it. It's not gonna take as long as you think it might. I promise. So I'm gonna go in now and I'm going to build the body of this one right here that has this lid kind of resting on it and in it. And I'll clean up my potato form for tomorrow. It's always hard to talk and ceramic. But yeah, I'm gonna go smooth that up really well. Give it a little base. Be cute. All right, this teapot, I'm gonna start building out right away. And it's gonna be really circular and it's gonna go like here and then back in like that. I made the base yesterday by cutting out a circle of clay and then adding one coil to it. I smoothed it into the bottom as well. That's just gonna give me a little bit better of a base because I'm gonna have such a heavy handle on the side and a bigger lid that I'm gonna have a really sturdy base. So with this one, I'm gonna start going out right away. I'm gonna pinch my coil on there, make sure that I have some good connectivity. but you don't want to go you know, out too quickly because sometimes it'll flop over on you. Smooth that together, make sure it's nice and even. And remember with these, we want to smooth the inside and the outside. And I always like to do the inside first on these so that you know you have enough clay because you could always add like little pieces to the outside. Um, the natural smoothing of these will be much easier to work with. There is still some red clay over at the seam. Not red clay, chocolate clay. It looks red. I know, I know over at the senior high if you guys need any it's over there for you And I'm just gonna do um, like two coils and then a big coil going in and then two little coils. 
because we have a vase for this, I'm going to kind of need to keep flipping it over. And I'm smoothing that into the base. So I think I'm just gonna get to building these two today. Then I'll do the handle spouts tomorrow. Because we have to pack up uh, over here a lot earlier. I always forget that this class is shorter. Get it nice and smooth. And then I'm going to do one more going out. And I can't believe this is our very last project. Yes. Huh? What's up? A what? Ooh. And then I'm gonna do one more coil going out and I'm gonna make it a larger coil. Um, that way I can rest it and it'll go out a little bit quicker. Now, because these are Yixing pots, you are gonna wanna go in and really pinch it in so that we're not building it too thick. And that when we get to the end, it's not going to be too wide out. Like I said, smooth the inside first. Make sure you're really supporting it. And this is kind of almost like making a bowl. But then we're gonna switch it up. So my first, well, my first coil was straight up that I applied to my base. And then these are um, a little bit different going out a little bit at a time. Smooth these down. And I'm going quick, guys, just for the sake of this video. Um, take your time. Take your time. Put in some music, watch a movie, work on your art. I feel like I always need something, either background noise or like music to inspire me to work. Yeah. I am also very strange in that I could only throw on the pottery wheel like for a long period of time to like a certain playlist that I've made. It's so bizarre and I don't know why, but I guess that's my inspiration. And I keep flipping this upside down because I did start with a base.
it's a little bit different than starting with a pinch pot at the very beginning and then we could start to work it like we would normally. But I could definitely use a metal rib tool. I'll do that tomorrow before I go in and do the rest. Yeah, this clay's a little too sticky. Hmm. All right, so now this is going out and that's exactly what I want it to do. So that is perfect. However, now I want to bring it in and I want to bring it in fairly quickly. I'm going to actually go in with my hand and even push it out a little bit more near the base. But I still want to make sure that I have a pretty good um, ring around here. The next coil is going to be pretty big. Uh, the reason being, this is a transition coil, so we're going from it being out to going in really quickly. We're going to need a lot of clay in order to cover that area. Otherwise, you're just going to see the one coil and it's going to look real strange. After this, I think I'm going to have to finish this one tomorrow too. Oof, this clay. But I'll show you guys how to do the transition and then I think I'll finish it before class. So I have time to do stouts and handles and you guys have plenty of time to uh, work in case you want to use one of the techniques I'm going over. All right, so this is going out. I want it to go in. I'm going to rest this directly on top. However, when I pinch it, to attach it to the clay, I'm pinching inward. And it's very important that this piece of clay is pretty big. I'm filming there and then I'm filming for YouTube. So I'm just going to cut that off. And the clay is going to be pretty heavy. But we really want to pinch it in right away. You're not going to be able to do this on a flimsy base, so make sure that you're really pinching it um, to a coils that have been like set up, whether it be like overnight um, under plastic or that you have started your coil pot and then maybe like let it sit for a half hour just kind of chilling. So when you're doing a coil to go in so quickly, um, it's a bit of a challenge. So you really have to kind of manipulate it with your hands quite a bit. And I'm going to show you like from the side, you could probably see the transition a little bit better. I'm really making sure that my hand is keeping it inward now. I'm smoothing this up. In fact, I might even use a little bit bigger of a coil than this. But just really make sure you're supporting it with your hand to do something a little bit more drastic. 
for your stick. This is gonna need a lot of kind of tapping these fingerprints out, but I'm starting to go in now. And I wanna try to get it as even as I can before I go in and smooth anything. I'm also like thinning it out by pinching it. And like I said, take your time. This is for demonstration purposes. And then where these connect, it's kind of like an awkward area. So find out whatever works for you. I like to smooth from the bottom going up because I feel like that's gonna just kind of make it look even more like it's going in. Some people like to just take some fresh pieces of clay though, stick them in there and do it that way. So rather than even messing with it too much, just kind of filling in that little area so that it just disappears. Sometimes I think that's a little easier because it's a strange area. Take like the little ittiest bittiest of coils I'm gonna continue smoothing this one. I'm gonna roll out a coil, I'm not gonna attach it. I just wanna show you guys where it's gonna go and then I will finish with this tomorrow. Cause it's a little wonky. It, this clay's really sticky. Sticky, sticky, sticky clay. All right, so my next coil would go like right in here. I'm gonna pinch it in, but this is not gonna stay. This is too heavy. Well, is it? Is it? I don't know. Now, a rib tool is gonna make all the difference on this. I'm gonna just tap this in so you guys could get an idea of what I'm going for. But if you could see on the side how that's going in quickly, I am gonna go in and I'm gonna adjust this foot. Um, maybe I'll do a handle over the top on this one instead. Oh no, I'll decide. But this one's definitely gonna go down a lot more flat through here. I just wanna wait to smooth it because it's, it's gonna start collapsing. And I don't want it to start collapsing. All right. So tomorrow we'll do lids and spouts on these. I'm gonna build this up to the very um, top where I wanna put the little link for you to put the lid on, because that's something I do wanna show you guys as well. So that's just coiling up those two to get the shapes, to either cut it out or get something a little bit more, uh, I don't know, kinda unique in shape. All right. 